Hello, my name is David Perry, and I will be presenting on missing teeth. Missing teeth can be defined as a congenital absence of one to six teeth, which is hypodontia, the absence of six or more teeth, which is oligodontia, or the complete absence of dentition, which is anodontia. The symptoms of missing teeth include the absence of teeth. Symptoms of missing teeth are mostly implied by the definition of the entity, but some patients with congenitally missing teeth may present with other anomalies within the dentition, such as reduction in tooth size and form. Patients with missing teeth will present with difficulty in chewing in that area or areas of missing dentition. People complain of a gap or an open space in the area of missing dentition. Clinical signs of missing teeth include the complete absence of a tooth in clinical and radiographic evaluation. The absence of the tooth will most often display as a vacant area in the dentition or a dentition with greater than normal interdental space. In the cases of delayed eruption, clinical evaluation will display the absence of the tooth, but radiographic evaluation will present with the evidence of the developing tooth. Hypodontia is found in 3 to 10 percent of the population. It is more prevalent in Asians and Native Americans with no sexual predilection. Although it is rare in children to be missing primary teeth, those that are tend to have more than one missing tooth. In the occasion of a child missing teeth, missing a single primary tooth, it is usually the maxillary central incisor. The most common congenitally missing teeth, beginning with the most prevalent, included third molars, second premolars, maxillary lateral incisors, and mandibular central incisors. The absence of these teeth can occur unilaterally or bilaterally. The radiographic location of missing teeth is at the location um, that the absent tooth normally occupies. The extent of the presentation of missing teeth in a radiograph depends on how many teeth are missing. If, if there is a single missing tooth, it will appear localized. If In the case of anodontia, it will be generalized throughout the maxilla and mandible. The edge of missing tooth is non-existent since there is no structure present in the location of a missing tooth besides the maxillary and mandibular bone, and possibly the presence of a neighboring tooth that has begun to drift or tip into the unoccupied position within the arch. Since there is no structure technically present when teeth are missing, there is not a particular shape present. The unoccupied space that is evident on the radiograph of a patient with missing teeth is typically lacking the shape of the particular missing tooth. The internal structure of a missing tooth presents the same radiopath characteristics as the bone of the maxilla or mandible unless a neighboring tooth has migrated to occupy the open space. Above the alveolar ridges, the internal structure of the missing tooth is that of air unless an adjacent tooth has migrated into the vacant position. Missing teeth have minimal effect on other structures, if any. The absence of teeth leads to the absence of evidence of bone supporting elements including the periodontal ligament space and nutrient canals. Missing teeth may lead to an increased resorption of bone in the affected area. Absence of may result in movement of adjacent and occluding dentition toward the vacant space, recording in, or resulting in tipping or super eruption. The number depends on the number of missing teeth, and the size depends on the size of the missing tooth, both mesial distally and facial lingually. Differential interpretations include the previous extractions or trauma to teeth. Ectodermal dysplasia is also a differential interpretation which presents with conical shaped teeth as presented in the photo. Delayed eruption is also a differential interpretation which is differentiated looking at a radiograph. Treatment options include implants, fixed partial dentures, removable partial dentures, complete dentures, or implant over dentures. And of course, a patient always has the option to have no treatment done at all. Implants would be probably the best form of treatment. In summary, the characteristic clinical findings of missing teeth are the absence of a tooth or teeth resulting in a vacant area within the dentition or an increase in the interdental spacing of dentition. The characteristic radiographic findings include an area of radiolucency where the missing tooth previously occupied. The prolonged absence of the tooth or teeth will cause increased resorption of the bone in the affected area. The treatment option is by the use of implants as they provide the best aesthetic and functional properties.